about what's next and what to do in moving forward. Because it's an interesting moment of time right now on what's next. Let's see, I think you can say with great confidence, every company will say the cloud is the platform for business. I think you could say AI has burst onto the scene, full, full throttle. Now we have been there for a long time, I remind you. We were the first. Uh, but everybody who can say anything about AI is out there. And now the studies say that in just a couple of years, the spending on cognitive will be about $33 billion. Now, why is that? I mean, I've said this to you every year I've been here. It's been about data. If you're a client, it is, the words we use, the natural resource. And if you refine it, the value goes to you. And so it will be the essence of competitive advantage. Not the data alone, but with cognitive. And John's going to talk more about Watson later. Okay, but, so what, what does that bring us to? I think, pause for a moment, because this just isn't about any kind of solution. I actually think that we're at an interesting point that there are now going to be an interesting set of architecture decisions made by our clients. They may be making them implicitly or explicitly, but it's going to start to happen. And for those of you that have been around a long time, you know that when architecture decisions are made, they determine an awful lot of things. They can determine the environment that you sell infrastructure, but they offer, they have a big influence on everything downstream. Now, as I talked to folks last night and this morning, many of you have been here when we've led these architecture shifts, whether it was host, distributed, the internet, and you have built some really strong franchises in those periods, and so have we. Whether it was the mainframe, the AS400, whether it's middleware with WebSphere, it, it, the list goes on, but now, I really want to pause and hope you remember sort of three areas that I think clients are going to make key architecture decisions in, and it will probably determine the next couple decades of what happens. And we each can play a role in helping them here. Three key decisions. One's going to be around a data platform, one's going to be around a cognitive or an AI platform, and the other's going to be around a cloud platform. Because all AI is not the same. To me, th this is chapter one's over on AI. We are about serious business, and it is not just about consumer apps. I mean, most of the consumer stuff you see out there today is speech to text into a search engine. That is not what we're talking about. We are talking about systems that are trained in a domain, and you're doing healthcare, education, retail, underwriting, risk and compliance. Very different. And I also saw input from the surveys that Mark does that everyone's interested, all your clients are interested in AI. And you either have clients that don't know where to start, or there's another group, in fact, what I saw a lot of when I was down in Africa, a group that has tried everything. And so, some of you will remember this. This is reminiscent of the times. They have all these little islands of AI going now, and none of this stuff is connected. And I've sat and listened to these, and they're like, we gotta, we gotta pick a platform, this is a mess. And so, I think they're gonna make a decision. So, when you make a decision about AI, what would be a couple things about the platform I want you to convey to your clients. Well, one is, it's a platform that has to have a range of cognitive services. Like I said, more than artificial intelligence. It's natural language processing. It's machine learning. It's vision. It's being able to know and learn actual professional domains. That's one, so it's a powerful range. The second thing, you gotta have transparency. I have witnessed this with so many clients in the use of artificial intelligence. Professionals go, but who taught it? Where did they get the data from? Where did they learn it? The key word is transparency. For you to trust these systems, you need to be transparent and pick a platform that is transparent about who taught it and with what data. And then the third, which I think is the most powerful, business model. A platform that can give you or the client insurance that whatever insights come out of it, they remain with that client. They are not architected in a way that when somebody brings their data, all the insights go into one big pool and all your competitors are trained at the same time and all the value goes to one guy that owns that pool. So, you would guess what platform might meet all those requirements? Watson. Oh, could you say that louder? Okay, come on, this is, this is, this is not multiple choice even, okay? This is Watson, this is Watson, this is what Watson was, is. And so, I just want to take you back, I, I mean, I'm thinking about I can't remember if it was last year, year prior when I was with you, I had said a lot of discussion about becoming digital. Everybody wants to be digital. And, and still to this day, great business opportunities here. 
And I say to every client, digital is not the destination. All right? Because when you get to digital, everybody's digital, who wins? You're going to be differentiated by cognitive. It will be the competitive advantage. Now, part two, we got to win this architecture battle. So it's, 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 to me, a really important underlying thought. Mark said it's all about winning. Think about that, because you're going to be setting the table for the future. And I come back to where I started, and you have accomplished so much. You guys have built new skills. You have built new businesses. You have refashioned businesses. And I am really proud of the work that this whole group has done. And I would just say one thing is I tell my own teams too, and you are my extended team. I say, guys, just remember, this is a show me world. This is not a talking world, this is a show me world. So I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and engage in Watson, the Watson Build, because it's gonna allow you, when you walk in a client, you show them what this does. If you're a developer, you join Bluemix, you do it. I've had my whole senior team on Bloom, everybody, everybody in the company, you get on, this is a show me world. And the premiums on experience and skills. So please take advantage of the resources we have and on Think Academy. And then we continue to move forward together. And momentum is building. And I